Ford plans to revolutionize the assembly process, which could build its new midsize electric pickup 40% faster. Set to launch in 2027 at around $30,000, the truck will debut the automaker's new universal EV platform and an assembly-free manufacturing process at the Louisville assembly plant. A system designed to cut costs, reduce complexity, and improve ergonomics for workers. The platform will underpin up to eight models, starting with a pickup similar in size to a Maverick, but more interior space than a Toyota RAV4. To get more insight on what this means for Ford, the industry, and workers, I spoke with our reporter and author of this story, Michael Martinez. But before we get into that, the 2025 Automotive News Congress is where the industry's biggest players tackle its toughest challenges. Hear directly from leaders like Mary Barra, Yi Sung Chung, and David Holt as they discuss the future of mobility. This year's panels will dive into the impact of tariffs and trade policies, the risks and realities of EV investment, new revenue opportunities beyond vehicle sales, and the global sales outlook. Plus, explore exhibits showcasing innovation from PACE Award winners like Auto Live, Morelli, Scheffler, and more. Don't just follow the industry, lead it. Join us at the Automotive News Congress on September 11th in Detroit and gain the insights and connections you need to steer your business through massive change. Reserve your spot now. Pre-sale rates end soon. So Ford's new universal EV platform is essentially a brand new way to make vehicles. One that Ford says is much more efficient than Henry Ford's traditional moving assembly line. Now, it's similar to Tesla's unboxed manufacturing process that they talked about in 2023, but it essentially involves breaking down vehicle assembly into three smaller sub-assemblies, a front, a rear, and a structural battery. Those will be built simultaneously along three different lines at its Louisville assembly plant. Then they'll all come together and sort of be snapped together at the end of the process. Ford says it's much more efficient, uses fewer parts, and has a lot more ergonomically friendly workstations. So traditionally, in any assembly plant you see today, you have a real sort of linear assembly process where workers install parts on a vehicle frame that moves down a line and gets more put together over time. Now, with this assembly tree process Ford is talking about, they'll use three smaller sub-assemblies, one for the front of the vehicle, one for the rear, and one for a structural battery that will basically be the floor of the vehicle, holding the seats and some other components. Now, workers will build each of those three simultaneously, and they'll come together at the end of the process. So instead of having workers bend or reach through doors to install seats or instrument panels or to reach above and below fenders or under the vehicle itself, Ford says these three sub-assembly stations will essentially just lay all the parts out right in front of the workers so they don't have to contort themselves into weird spaces to put the parts in. It's also going to use significantly fewer parts. They took about 22 pounds of wiring harnesses out compared to other vehicles they build today. So all in all, they say they had the workers in mind when they designed this process, and they probably won't be as sore going home to their families at night. So Ford says lithium iron phosphate batteries are much more cost effective for EVs like the $30,000 midsize pickup, mainly because they have more common ingredients. They don't use cobalt or nickel, which are not as abundant and therefore cost a lot more. So the whole point of this project is to keep costs low, and they still think they can get solid range and efficiency out of the LFP chemistry, so they're moving forward with that. So $2 billion is a lot of money, especially for an existing plant. Ford's essentially going to tear out everything that you see in there today and put in this new manufacturing process, new workstations, new everything, essentially. They're even adding 52,000 square feet to the plant itself. That's because Ford intends to bring in-house a lot of supplier work and a lot of other components work that was previously done elsewhere. So it's a completely revamped plant for a completely revamped process. Well, it's a risk because no one really has ever done this before. Even Tesla, which announced a similar unboxed manufacturing process in 2023, still really hasn't made that idea a reality. So if Ford is to do this properly, they'll be the first. That involves a lot of risk inherently. 
Secondly, they're a legacy auto company that's been around over a hundred years. So they have a lot of workers, a lot of engineers and designers who know only one way of doing things. And it's hard to change that mindset. So CEO Jim Farley is going to have a lot of work to do to not only change his workers' habits, but to completely revamp how it's built vehicles. This is a big risk for Ford, but it's one that they believe is absolutely necessary because not only are they competing against GM and Toyota and Volkswagen, they're competing against Chinese automakers globally that have way lower cost vehicles and apparently a much more efficient, fast manufacturing system to allow them to put out these vehicles around the world. So Ford sees this as not only a, a big step, but a necessary one. Uh, Jim, if this project goes well, would you retool your other assembly plans to do this tree, this three part system? Um, we think it's really enabled by the new ground up EV zone electric architecture. You know, to take out an F series, the next F series and do this, not gonna happen. But will we build more, you know, top hats? Will we localize this in another factory? That depends on how popular it is with the customers. And that comes down to the product appeal. And no, we're not orphaning people. We have Kentucky Truck right down the road. They are very busy building the new Expedition Navigator and, and Super Duty, and we have plenty of jobs for people. In fact, we're the only auto company that's added 13 jobs, 13,000 jobs since 07. Ford's electric midsize pickup and its new manufacturing process could mark one of the company's most significant shifts in more than a century. If successful, it may redefine EV production in the US. But as Farley noted, there are no guarantees. The results will unfold as the 2027 launch approaches. That'll do it for this week's From the Newsroom. Be sure to check out the latest industry news, in-depth analysis, and exclusive features at autonews.com. And don't forget to register for the 2025 Automotive News Congress at autonews.com slash congress. We'll see you there. We'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think about this week's stories. If you found this video informative, give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss future updates. Thanks for watching.